Another um, interesting uh, view engine has been developed by one of the Microsoft VB developers um, using XML literals. And uh, I want to show this to you uh, to again show you that we can easily slop, uh, slop out, swap out view engines. Uh, but I thought it would also be interesting uh, because of the uniqueness of VB XML literals uh, compared to the other languages. The actual work was done by a developer, uh, Dimitri Robsman, and uh, this is his blog. Uh, this uh, URL will be put on the launch page, and he talks about this view engine that he's created uh, that you can include with a MVC project and create your views using XML literals. Uh, this was also referred to um, in Phil Hack's um, uh, blog where he talked about uh, using XML literals and some of the neat uh, things about that. So um, I would, uh, I'll include both of these links on the, uh, the launch page so that you can uh, look at them and understand them. Okay, so let's take a look, look a little bit at um, some of the, um, the issues that uh, we might want to concern ourselves with in this context. Um, you're looking at uh, the output of two different applications. Um, you can't see any real difference here except the heading here says using VB MVC view engine and using standard ASPX view engine. Um, just demonstrate that looking at these two pages you can't tell what's happened uh, in the uh, technology in the background. Um, in fact if you look at the controllers uh, here are the two controllers particularly you were looking at the index uh, uh, action of the home controller and here you can see a couple of uh, view data entries in the view data dictionary and similar entries uh, this one uh, is saying ASPX home page and this is saying uh, VB uh, view engine home page um, so clearly the uh, the top one here um, was used to create uh, this output and the bottom one was used to create uh, that output so the controllers are identical there's no difference between the controllers but let's look at the um, the actual code for the views uh, the one on the top again is the standard one that uses uh, ASP.NET MVC um, you can see we're definitely talking here in an HTML markup concept and the one down below um, is instead a class um, a, a class called index which inherits from site master um, this includes site master my eye is scanning for the site master to see where it uh, is uh, described in here oh it's right up here at the top uh, so that defines the master page and this is defining the master page simply through inheritance and um, here is a uh, so this is called index and this is a function called render content it generates an X uh, element which is a um, XML type element and here you can see this uh, returns and here's my XML literal it basically returns a division um, that division includes a heading which is equivalent to this heading right here uh, and a paragraph which is equivalent to this paragraph right here so, um, although it may not be uh, obvious from um, the, the, the user's perspective, the technology generating the views uh, is very different between these two uh, applications. So, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have in the background here. Uh, I have two uh, projects. Actually, this is a sample project that uh, Dimitri provides. Um, this is the one that deals with uh, VB view, and here um, you can take a look at the uh, index.vb that I just showed you. If you want to look at the um, um, mas master page, the site master, it looks like this. And again, we're talking about an uh, XML literal. Um, it's returning here, and we begin our XML literal right at this spot right here, and it contains continues all the way down. Uh, Dimitri has included uh, specialized routines. This is actually his view engine down below, um, and he's and, and I've inclu included that namespace, so I'm including uh, his uh, definitions, like his action link definition and his render partial definition. Um, and again, that is in contrast to the site master that we find inside uh, the ASPX uh, view engine. 
Here the site master in the shared folder uh, looks like this. It's uh, pure markup. Um, and so this gives you a, sort of a different approach to uh, providing these two things. Now, so you might say uh, sort of like, so what? Well, the so what is that when you have your view as an actual um, API and you can write it in code, um, you have a much richer opportunity than you would have uh, if your um, API is markup language. And uh, again, without going into too much detail, I'd, I would um, urge you to take a look at Phil Hack's uh, blog entry and also Dimitri's blog entry where he talks a little bit about some of the uh, implications of this. Um, so that's, that's about all I want to say about this. Um, it's not really that interesting to run. Uh, notice that the, 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 uh, the VB view engine is the startup project. So if I go ahead and run this thing, um, we'll just prove that it works. Okay, this is, uh, this is the index uh, that's being called from the um, home controller. And so um, this is it. Uh, this is my little uh, tutorial on the uh, model view controller. I hope you've uh, found it uh, useful and interesting. And um, check back and see uh, if I have some more videos that you might find useful.